What's good, Zach? What's good, Chad? What's good, Ayo? Hey, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? We back, baby. And I'm early today. Ain't that right, Chad? Early. Huh? Yo, Q, N O, Puerto Rico, uh, uh, later, Army, Mac, Demo, Chad, who is from Puerto Rico? How's everybody's day going on a scale of 1 to 10? Let me hear it, Chad. How we doing? Yeah, we black hoodie. Yep, what's good, Faded? Yo, Arad, Peach, Queen, Irregular, Ocean, Phantom, Squan, Has Booty, uh, Booty, uh, Triplet, uh, Tom, Big D, Randy, Pause. Appreciate it. Shall we doing good, huh? It's good face. Man, chat, let me tell you. I burnt some calories. <coughs> uh, I burnt some calories today, chat. Had a good workout sesh. Started stream, you know. What's good, Mike? Queso's what? Queso's syrup sweat. With the five gifted. Uh, thank you, I guess. What? What is that? What are we playing tonight? What you think we playing, buddy? Yo, spare cheese with the five gift. Appreciate you. Chat, what y'all do today? Did y'all do anything interesting today? Who in here do you think had the most interesting day today? Yo, Ammo with the five gifted. GL with the five gifted. Dude, when you think about it, chat. Bro. Dude. Bro, dude, you know what I mean? Wait, hold on, let me try. Yo, Vince, what the five get to appreciate you? Bro, like, it's kind of crazy. Like, yo, uh, Rick, what the five get to? Dude, bro, like, when you think about it, the amount of stuff that happens in every single day is insane like every single person in here and that will be in here had their own day that happened and like stuff happened within that day that didn't ha like somebody died today type one if you died today chat you know like multiple people died today wait matter of fact let me look that up Yo, Jake the dog with the five gifted. How many people people died today? Seven million people died today. Wait, no, never mind. Yo, yo, never mind, my bad. Okay, that can't be right. Wait, I can't find it. Did you get a haircut? Buddy, I haven't got a haircut. Yo, Will with the five gifted. I haven't got a haircut. Chat, when did I get a haircut? Dude, I haven't had a haircut in like six months. It's been like six months with no haircut. Literally. Like, actually, it's been like six months no haircut. Like, what's the point? You know what I mean? Yo, Zach with 30,000 bits. Give me some W's for Zach with the 30,000 bits, dude. Oh, my goodness. W, Zach, man. Bruh. Chat, W Zach, bro. Queso six pack of pudding comes with the five gifted. 
Hey, Case, it's your favorite person from Wyoming. <laughs> Yo, Zach, you're the only person from Wyoming in here. You are literally the only person from Wyoming in here. There's nobody else. From, somebody said my cat died, RIP. You know? Yo, Cassie with the team, get the W, Cassie. Send in some bits to reach the 300,000 badge. Gonna be in Yellowstone for vacation soon, but I'll still tune in to the streams. Also, you're built like Thizabald Thorn from Baldur's Gate 3. Yellowstone, huh? Okay, let's get Zach banned from the stream, please. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's get Zach banned from the stream. Thank you for the 30,000 bits. Appreciate that. Um, wait, Yellowstone. Chad, who in here has been to Yellowstone? Yo, Winnie Hut General with the five gift. Appreciate you. Wait, is it Yellowstone that things like that, like if it explodes, we're dead? Wait, hold up. What if Yellowstone erupts? What if Yellowstone volcano erupted tomorrow? At U.S. Bank, Yo, we Cam think with the, the best five, relationships. But I should be looking at this because I get like scared of this stuff. Laughing. Right now, in the United States, one of the world's largest volcanoes is gearing up to explode. See, it's when no you say it like that, you're striking fear in people's heart. You can't just say, oh, it's gearing up to explode. Because now you got people walking around scared thinking, oh, man, this thing's about to blow up, dude. Like, no. Known as the Yellowstone Volcano. And it's not just any regular volcano. Nope. It's a super volcano. If Yo, booty clap zero with the five gifted. Yellowstone decided to erupt, the results would be devastating. Okay, I, I just want to see if I would survive this. But how bad would they be? Is there anything we can do to stop it? How you go stop them? Would you do drop a bunch of ice in it? You let me run to the dollar store, grab a bag of ice, and throw it in there to calm it down. Your would it affect with the, five the entire world? And how would this change our weather? This is what if. And here's what would happen if the Yellowstone volcano erupted tomorrow. If we got any hypochondriacs in here, you better prepare yourself. Located in Wyoming in the United States, Yellowstone has erupted three times in the past. Yellowstone is in Wyoming? Yo, Abyss with the five gift. Appreciate you, Abyss. Is that Wyoming's only claim to fame? Dude, I feel like every single state has their own claim to fame, right? Like, Arkansas's claim to fame is, um... I think it's like diamonds, right? Oh, Walmart. Yeah, the creator of Walmart's from Arkansas. Yeah, that's about all we got. <laughs> Yo, Chalky with the five. Past two million years. This has led some people to wonder whether we should There's be There's no way it would be that big of an explosion. Are you kidding me? Past two million years. This has led some people to wonder whether we should be worried about another Yellowstone eruption in the near future. And by near future, we mean probably in another couple hundred thousand years. Okay, so everybody in here is good, chat. You can quit worrying about Yellowstone now. But instead of waiting so long, 
why don't we find out what would happen if the eruption took place tomorrow? If you live in- I'm not safe. Yo, Zach, you think you're gonna be alive in 200,000 years? Yo, Lissa, with the five gift, appreciate you, Lissa. North America, there would be virtually nothing you could do to prepare. Now that this super volcano has exploded, well, first, what makes Yellowstone a super volcano anyway? Well, apart from it being larger in size, a super volcano also produces a much more massive explosion. Most of the time, when we Wait, think of- Wait, what's that one volcano that Squidward cosplayed in SpongeBob? Krakatawa? Y'all remember when that one blew up? That's like, I think that's like the, the largest noise in, in history, I think. Cassie with another 10 W, Cassie. Appreciate you, Cassie. A volcanic eruption, we the surrounding area. Well, while that would happen at Yellowstone, and it is something you'd need to worry about, it wouldn't be the only thing. In fact, the lava pouring out of the volcano might be the least of your worries. Well, duh, the lava ain't gonna travel two miles. Surprisingly, there wouldn't be much of it. At least not as much as you'd expect from a super volcano. That's because before lava leaves a volcano, it's first known as magma. But in this case, a lot of Yellowstone's magma won't be able to become lava. That's because it will be shot up into Bro, the- chat, you know what I- dude, would I be wondering about lava? Like, say you fell into this, right? Would you instantly disintegrate or would it take like a minute? Queso's belly button jam with the five gifted and goose with the five gifted. So instant. So if you jumped into this, you're gone instantly. You wouldn't even feel nothing. You'd just be gone. I can swim in lava. You'd feel it? No, you wouldn't feel it. You would feel some heat. As if I got my water bucket, this is turning into cobble or uh, obsidian. Magma won't be able to become lava. That's because it will be shot up into the sky, becoming airborne ash particles. Yeah. And it won't just be any type of ash. These will be tiny, scorching little particles of jagged rock. Now this would affect nearly the entire United States. No shot. Jagged rock. Now this would affect. Oh, we're cooked. The entire United States and Canada. Tens of millions of people within 1,000 kilometers of the eruption would. Okay, that's the cringiest thing I've ever seen. Dude, like, I'm sorry, but there's no circumstance where in real life, tens, like, you're getting pushed over and I'm running. I am going to run until I get burned up, dude. I'm not going to sit there and get one last kiss in. I'm, I'm gone, dude. Like, I'm running. Tens of millions of people within 1,000 kilometers of the eruption would die. Wait, how, how much? My bad. Now this would affect nearly the entire United States and Canada. Tens of millions of people within 1,000 kilometers of the eruption. Chat, let me, how, how much is 1,000 kilometers to miles? Quickly. This dude, Adam from Alaska, just said 3,448 miles. Yo, Adam, are you serious? It's 600 miles? Okay, now somebody, how far is Arkansas away from Wyoming?
Wait, Arkansas is 1,188 miles from Wyoming? I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. And would die. If you breathed the ash, which would be inevitable in a scenario like this, it would form a cement-like mixture in your lungs, causing you to suffocate. Buildings would collapse as just 30 centimeters of ash is enough to cave roofs in. And you'd still be in trouble even if you were outside. Hey, it's the dude from, uh, not at the museum. Enough to cave roofs in. And you'd still be in trouble even what if you were- What a great move. Chad, y'all remember Night at the Museum, dude? What a good movie, man. Bro, that movie was so good. Bro, I remember when I was a kid, I was watching that movie on repeat, bro. Like, I probably watched that movie like 30 times. Because I remember back in the day, I could just watch movies over and over. I remember when I was a kid, I watched that movie over and over again. The SpongeBob movie over and over again. Little Rascals. The Sandlot and like George of the Jungle, dude. Bro, just goaded, man. Cassie with 25 gifted subs. Give me some W's for Cassie with the 25 gifted subs. Oh my goodness, W Cassie. Appreciate the 25 gifted Cassie for real. Thank you. Or that's like 50 gifted almost, actually. Total. Appreciate that, Cassie. Outside that 1,000 kilometer range, experts say that even the east coast of the United States would be covered with one centimeter of ash. Yeah, but you're surviving which... that. What's some ash action gonna do? It would still be incredibly dangerous to our human lungs. Even parts of Europe would see some ash. See, I just do what this dude, I'm gonna walk around a leaf blower and blow a tunnel through the ash so I can breathe in my little tunnel. That's the easiest way to survive. You get a leaf blower and just blow, your, blow the air around and get you some clean air. Your band, Cohen. Incredibly dangerous to our human lungs. Even parts of Europe would see some ash. Maybe a light dusting. <laughs> a and light that dusting. That wouldn't be the only effect they'd Yo, experience. Yo, why these dudes running? You gotta run. Apart from the deadly ash everywhere, the entire That's world a crazy would experience name. Thank you for a the temperature five. drop. The ash lingering in the air would block out the sun, resulting in significant weather changes. The global temperature would drop by 10 degrees, an effect which could last as long as a decade. Cap. The world would experience a temperature drop. The ash lingering in the air would block out the sun. We got technology that would reverse this anyway. Resulting in significant weather changes. The global temperature would drop by 10 degrees, an effect which could last as long as a decade. The ash would also affect crops. No, water we supply. don't. We literally do. You mean to tell me that we don't have technology that could clear the ash away and let the sun hit hit the ground? All you'd have to do is send up a satellite with a with two giant fans on it and blow the dust away. It's, it's the same thing. Like, it's like, simple, bro, chat, physics ain't as difficult as y'all are thinking is. You can make a tornado in your backyard. You need, like, six fans. You put them in a circle, and you just keep spinning them eventually to make a tornado. You know what I don't get, by the way? You want to know what the dumbest gap in technology is? Like, it's literally the dumbest thing ever. How is it that in certain areas you don't have phone signal, yet there's a robot that's on Mars that's being controlled from Earth? You mean to tell me we got a robot on Mars that's being controlled from Earth, yet there's not phone signal everywhere here? I and virtually everything else in the western part of the world. So, although you'd probably survive the initial explosion, you'd eventually suffer the consequences of the ash. I'm surviving Whether that. Whether that means dying relatively quickly or 
living long enough to experience a colder, harsher world. Fallout. I what? play Fallout New Vegas for a reason. I'd be ready, dude. You can take a deep breath of ashless oxygen knowing that something like this will probably never happen. At least not in our lifetime. An eruption like this at Yellowstone would be known as a super volcanic eruption. Dude, a more like, likely explosion. This thing could blow up any minute now. Do you think there's going to be a major natural disaster happen within like the next 50 years? Yo, Drew with the five, appreciate you. Probably, but what would it be? It's, it can't be a meteor because we know, I think they know if meteors are coming through like, like, you know, 20 years beforehand. There will be if you jump. Yo, get that dude banned. Yo, Chonky with the five. Somebody said a supernatural disaster. You mean a ghost? A ghost is gonna destroy the earth? 